Now, since the day Moscow announced the partial military mobilization, there have been some pretty unusual images that have been emerging from along the Russian borders. Residents have been seen lining up to immediately free from the country, and in a bit of surprising move, Berlin has now urged the Russian deserters to apply for asylum in Germany. Das Regime mutig entgegenstellt und deshalb in größte Gefahr begibt, der kann in Deutschland wegen politischer Verfolgung Asyl beantragen. So this is what the scene looks like at many of the border crossings between Russia and its neighboring nations. And this is a scene from the Georgian border, about 10 kilometers of cars were seen queued up, waiting to leave from Russia. Some residents were even seeing their cycles to try and avoid the traffic jam. Дело не в страхе, дело в неприязни всей этой ситуации. Мне мне очень неприятно, что там развязали эту всю историю. Мне действительно жаль наших, собственно говоря, братьев. У меня много родственников в Украине, и мне это все неприятно. Жима ты жима, который убивает людей. Сначала внутри убивал страны, потом снаружи убивает. Russian president has called on at least about 300,000 reservists to be drafted. Well, there is no clarity over their deployment. Now experts say that they'll of course be used to stop Ukraine's recent counteroffensive near Kharkiv. The moment that has been touted as a bit of game changer, the seven month long war. Since the mobilization's announcement, the Russian parliament has also toughened the punishments for a host of crimes, including desertion, damage to military property, and insubordination. According to a copy of the bill, voluntary surrender would of course become a crime that would be punishable by about 10 years in prison, and this is in the wake of Kremlin bracing for fresh counteroffensives by Ukraine.